Guys, welcome back to another video of our channel. And in this video, we'll be taking a look on the most asked question I have these days: is what tools do I use? But because in the video we are having finances here, we are having the new batch of advanced property training launching soon. So as you guys can see, all the contents here. This is the course where we do completely live things on the real life websites and real life scenarios. And also, we'll be having updated content, updated timeline of the schedulings, and a very detailed content guide in the site. So you guys can definitely take a look on this, and let's get in the video. So here we are on our computer screen now. Now I am gonna be asking a very basic question to you that it's been a long that a lot of people are asking what tools do you use and all these things. So one tip that I gave in the bug bounty course and on the free bug bounty course and everywhere, and that's the main advice that I have is like don't be reliable on tools. Do your own stuff. Spend some really good time onto them. Right, the main things, the main parameters, the all the main things that you can get it from is observation. So spend time, good time on observing things and all these things, and you will eventually find parameters, find exploit ways, and all these types of things by yourself. But by only relying on tools, nah, man, you won't be finding a lot of things. So here's a list. It will be a very quick video on it, but let me show you what tools do I have. So the first tool that I have is Subfinder. Why not? Who is not having Subfinder these days? So why do we have to use subfinder? I will be preferring to use it on finding subdomain finding, obviously. And the main thing is it has to be configured. The more number of APIs, the more perfection it will give. And that's the main thing. The AMAS reason you all know. You can get ASN number and use the AMAS command to find out the things. So as we have seen in the free bug bounty course, where is the AMAS command here? You can simply find it somewhere near here. Let's do AMAS. Okay, there's not command saved here. I'll be mentioning that it is this um, command. You can using this type of command to find the uh, subdomains using ASN number. Now, how to find ASN number of organizations? We all know that. Just go to bgp.he.net. Just go to Google or just do the search and search any company like let's say Tesla. So you can find the ASN numbers and find subdomains from AMS. Now this is not the limited usage of AMAS. You can definitely do a bunch of more things on it. You can simply figure it out. The Nmap or Network Mapper. I usually use it for two things when doing on some sort of program. Definitely finding ports, and especially using it in multiple automations to find ports or use NSE. Nmap scripting engine. I have already posted a thing about it on the channel, so make sure to take a look on it. Not a big deal, but Nmap would be a very good thing. It is a very good thing that you can use it for finding multiple ports, multiple open services. Maybe using that Nmap scripting engine to finding vulnerabilities or finding little bit loopholes in the IPs. Now, Rustiscan and Nabu will be covering both of them together. Now they are kind of doing the same thing of Nmap, but a bit faster. But they are not using NSA. They are just finding ports, but they are a bit faster. And there are good customized options in both of them. Now, so Rustic Scan is way faster, but it can affect the quality of output you get in many cases. So, if you are having a little bit unstable internet connection or lower than 100 Mbps, then you better use Nabu. It's resulting more better in slow speeds and also resulting in a very good outputs. So, it's completely based on you which one you want to use fast and kind of reliable. We can say reliable. HTTPX, obviously, we know. HTTP will find a live subdomains. Usually we use it for that, and that's a good thing. So I will use HTTP for finding a live subdomains, and also it is also giving us HTTPS, not HTTP in many cases, but in HTTP probe it is also doing the same function. It's doing the same function along with along with giving us HTTP and HTTPS both. In many cases, you might not be able to find any of them, or it might be stated not very true there. But still, you can get it. Now, AM hacker, don't make me explain it, boys. AM pen testing. Just let me just type something like that here. And I've already made a AM pen testing video on YouTube, so better not ask me how to do it. When you are having AM web application, you can simply use it, and it will just use its checklist one by one. Now, GraphQL map. Obviously, for GraphQL pen testing, 
because you need to learn about how to create the queries and all these things so graphql map will help you in that perspective and it will definitely give you a better results about it param spider and param pam pam so you may not be able to hear about the other ones too because i have seen a lot of people are not known to the param pam pam but yeah that's a good tool so param spider for finding parameters and that's a pretty effective tool but when i'm depending on finding parameters instead of using my observation if i would like to do it manually then definitely for param spider would be a very good option but i won't be relying on one tool for it so i'll be going with two tools here in many cases i have seen param pam pam a bit more relevant in the past few months but i guess the param spider was a little bit upgraded these days so it's hard to say for now nuclei you can use it for many purposes it's kind of automation working on templates so you can definitely go with making templates finding services or detecting services i'm just stopping finding services because we can just sort out our usage i use it for multiple finding services and sorting out technologies because i would like to sort out all the technologies and use my own custom templates onto them maybe i will use the default templates even though people are using fuzzing templates they are already given in the nucleus so don't ask for the link and also you can use the exposures for integrating into multiple tools to find information disclosure jls same as nuclei but just made by other guys you can definitely have a look on that i don't use jls too much but every time i use it i just use it for testing out the ips way back urls the history the history right it is known as the history but i can usually use it for finding parameters info leaks and specially for getting a good collection of urls waymore so we way way back is only working on you know the archive.org but waymore is dependent into more more results then way back sometime it's always same so it's you can use whatever you want to use i'll prefer going with waymore and wayback both of them combined now tpl map so tpl map is quite good not going to lie about it it can help you with finding some sort of you know sasthya into it just let me show the tool usually people confuse about the tools into multiple ones this is the one sasthi i one tool you can give it parameters it will test out test out all the things because when you are going for uh sasthi we have to just find what template is running there template findings is always a big deal to it and it can kind of simplify it i want I'm, i'm not saying that it will definitely simplify it but kind of yes xnl link finder i have made a whole video on it check it out sql map definitely detecting and helping us exploit sql map i will be planning to make a detailed video about sql soon so stay tuned for the live sessions on it but for now focus on it definitely if i'm having any sort of sql error triggered into my whole system then yeah i will use the sql map to find and you know exploit it gauri kind of same but with more other options and more efficient in many cases so you can compare both of them and use both use both of them in many cases i found this a little bit reliable in many cases but sometimes it's also sql map is more reliable cloud enumeration look cloud enum this tool is going kind of good not going to lie when you are having a list of domains so was my target is target.com now i need to find all the possible open buckets i'm not marking open buckets possible open buckets so when i am talking about possible open buckets it can help us to find it just like you know uh cloud enum hyphen k and just target it will just first the whole target it will first the whole, all the buckets like AWS, Azure, Google Storage, and all those types of things to find out the open buckets that belongs to or that might belong to the company, and then you can cross check it. That's a good tool. I will say definitely use it. CV map, come on boys, we have made a video on it. A good and great resource collection for us. When we have Shodan CLI, we know we need to definitely go with Shodan CLI to finding multiple uh, IPs and multiple things that we need. I will usually use it to automate. and integrate integrating few things into it that can make it a little bit you know efficient on it 
and automating things using Shodan CLI to get IPs and do specific stuff on it that will help. And security trigger CLI, it would be a Python file. And this Python file can do pretty amazing stuff to us. Because when we are just trying to find subdomains from a lot of sources, this can do a very good effect on it. Because we have seen that using fire tools is almost similar in out of you know six out of ten cases, have a similar to using this one only. Okay, so that was the I guess that was the main video about all the tools I'll be making and using all the tools in the upcoming live sessions. So make sure you stay tuned. And I guess that was for the video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the link about the course in the description. That was for the video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the link in the description.